self cure is the future where you know like if you have any illness you can simply go to your garden remove these flowers produced by the cannabis plant and just eat the ganja or make oil from it or smoke it or whatever way you would like to take it and that really allows you to cure yourself Hi, my name is Vicky Varora. I'm an activist. I've uh, been working with thousands of uh, cancer patients for the last uh, couple of years, trying to free the plant in India, which is uh, our holy cannabis plant. The Great Legalization Movement was actually just an initiative to free the cannabis plant, also known as ganja, bhang, charas. No one was talking about the uh, curative properties of uh, ganja or uh, how it can cure and destroy cancer and all of these things was just prohibited and kept away from the society. So I wanted to bring this plan mainly for as a medicinal alternative for uh, millions of suffering patients in this country and that's how the movement began actually. You're destroying people's life continuously by allowing substances like uh, tobacco or cigarettes. But something that is so safe, so natural, and more spiritual, I would say, is being removed from the society. The cannabis alone is a huge threat to lots of uh, multi-billion dollar corporations. It doesn't matter if people are getting injured, as long as the money is coming into the government hands, um, it's it's okay. You know, like yeah. The legalization is extremely important. Also, it's important to do it in a right way and regulate it in the right way from who grows it, who creates the seeds, uh, what are they using while they're growing it and uh, who's selling it. All of these things are very, very important. And uh, what's happening is uh, uh, there are illegal trade that's going on. There's a lot of uh, uh, harmful chemicals that are being sprayed on the plant. I've met people, farmers who use uh, rat poison, shoe polish, many other chemicals, just to give it a little more flavor, just to give it a little more high when people buy it for smoking purposes. So these kind of adulteration is going on uh, because of the prohibition. But when you legalize it, a people will be able to grow it themselves. Then all of these things are uh, removed, and people will be able to use this in a much better way. This plant is an absolute miraculous plant. It's a, a truly a God's gift to humanity and we have suppressed it. It's the, one of the world's most uh, cellulose producing plant. It produces the world's strongest uh, fiber. It produces the most uh, uh, amount of biomass per acre as compared to any other crop. These three things makes this a super crop. And also it produces the most uh, medicinal flowers and it also produces the most uh, nutritious seeds. From the proteins to amino acids to whatever your body needs, everything is available in the cannabis seed. If there is someone to blame for all of these things, it's America. They were the ones who clubbed it in the Schedule 1 class of uh, drugs. Schedule 1 means it has no medicinal value and it is very lethal. When uh, United Nations were working on the single conventions on narcotics, cannabis was placed in Schedule 1 drug over there. So it went unquestioned and every other country who signed this treaty uh, implemented the same kind of laws across the world. Even if you have 10 grams of cannabis on you, you can be arrested for up to 6 months and up to 10,000 rupees as a fine. And if you are especially dealing with large quantities, uh, your punishment can go up to 10 years, non-bailable offence. There can be too much. Now, like Cannabis again is not for everyone. Some people can handle it very well, some people cannot, but over a period of time they can learn how to use the plan. I've personally tried various different ways of using the plan. Smoking throughout the day, smoking from morning till night, smoking a lot, smoking very, very little. Microdosing is really uh, powerful because you don't build tolerance and you don't smoke too much. And by smoking very little, uh, the receptiveness uh, of uh, these cannabinoids in your body is increased a lot. Less is more. And if people can understand that, um, uh, it's a boon for them. No, I don't have any formal medical background, but uh, those with formal medical backgrounds are not helping out the society anyway. I'm just trying to question, why is there uh, known scientific uh, proof that cannabis can cure cancer and why is it not being used in the society? I've worked with thousands of patients and I believe I have the authority to speak about um, the reality of the healthcare system in this country. 
uh, that people are really stressed out and uh, they need a hit. <laughs> Living living in uh, a bad city ob obviously requires some kind of uh, nature in yourself and I believe people go at it. Once in a while, whenever I, I, I use Facebook very less, so whenever I do open out of like a hundred messages, there will be one or two guys who, who would have asked like, hey bro, can you <laughs> send me some good moral things? Like, no nah, man, no. Only That's for patients only for the patients but patients no matter who they are uh, what their condition is what their financial condition is we collectively as an organization have always been there for patients no matter what